Hi everyone, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do a general read for the star sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. This may or may not resonate with every Gemini, but it will for some. The energies can be past, present, or future. They can be reversed. This could be you or your person, same-sex relationships, and divine masculine, divine feminine counterparts. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself, using this time to be creative, meditate, pray, um, get closer to your loved ones, that type shit, okay? So thank you to all of my old subscribers. Thank you for rocking with me since day one. And much love and many blessings to you guys, as well as all the new soul tribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming and joining. And for those that don't come and join and just come see what the fuck I'm doing, appreciate the energy donation. Much love, many blessings, peace. Also, um, I cuss, I talk a whole lot of shit when I start reading and channeling. So if that offends anybody, please click the fuck off. I'm not your reader, point blank period. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon rising, your Mercury, Venus, North Node or South Node, Jupiter, Saturn, Vedic Astrology or Vedic um, as well. Also, um, anything that I forgot to mention, oh, all of my readings are timeless, guys. So anytime you click on a uh, reading, you were guided and led to my channel to hear this message. If it wasn't for you, then it may be for someone that you know that you need to send my way so they can get this message. Um, anything else, it'll be listed in the description box below the video. So let's get started, guys. Um, the princess, the prince of swords came up. That's you, Gemini. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> but Gemini is what we're going for right now. Some of you could have been dealing with someone um, where there's harsh communication. Either you brought it in or they brought it in. This could be a Ten of Pentacles situation, which um, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So it could be a marriage or a long-term committed relationship, or this could be about family in general. But somebody is definitely wakening up or having an awakening. Someone is spiritually being guided away, but they're leaving with a very heavy heart and it's very painful for this person to walk away. Could be a water sign. We have the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Eight of Swords. And someone is feeling stuck and trapped in a situation. They don't see where they can find their way out. Um, for a very small few of you, I do see jail for you in the background. Some of you are afraid that you're about to go to jail in a situation. Some of you could be in jail at this present moment. Could be for eight hours, eight days, eight weeks, eight months maximum eight years. Um, some of you are needing to find strength in a situation. There could be a queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, you could have Leo in your chart or your person could finding strength. Clear and shield your energy. Elmira, one of the um, ascended masters is saying someone from the archangels um, love oracle is saying you deserve love. You are lovable. And some of you are going to purify yourself. The world is here. 29 is 11. So we could be dealing with some um, master numbers. This could be your master number. And for others of you, this could be a significator of a twin flame situation. And we have brilliant ideas. Archangel Uriel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your ideas to fruition. So let's slide these out of the way. And I'm going to read from a new deck that I'm working on learning. And it is called The Dreams of Gaia Tarot. And here we are. It's beautifully illustrated. And let's slide the rest of this out of the way. Because I'm going to use these to close your reading. All of the decks have already been prayed over, blessed, and um, shuffled, pre-shuffled, and cut. So we could get that time necessary. More so for the reading. So we have the Eight of Earth. I bypassed, excuse me, y'all. All right, here's the Eight of Earth. 
very beautiful. Um, the eight of earth, meditation, grounding, connecting, connections, I'm sorry, cycles, change, interaction, purification, stress, purification. There we are. Um, get into nature, let Gaia heal you. Connection between self and the world. All is connected and has influence. Address the stress. Meditate and still, and still, I'm sorry, your mind. Put down the tech toys. Time to physically interact and connect. So this could be very appropriate for your reading. I know the purification part definitely came through. So we're going to slide these to the side. I'm going to slide these over as well. We're going to ask um, the Archangel Oracle deck for love guidance and messages. At the bottom of the deck, it says engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you guys are going to possibly be married and go on a honeymoon. Enjoy your bliss of holiday time together. And don't forget to have some playfulness involved. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Also, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So some of you need to work on your relationship. Maybe go on a second honeymoon. Um, take a trip or something in order to recapture that youthful playness, um, playfulness that you guys may have lost at this present moment. You could be planning one is what I'm hearing. I'm just going to pre-shuffle these again before we actually get the reading started so we don't waste any time. Okay, let's set these to the side and we're off. Let's go Geminis. What is the messages for Geminis please? We have the King of Swords. So someone could have detached from a situation, Gemini, either you or your person. And this could have caused someone to become, to walk away from this situation. Someone could have been aloof. Um, someone could have uh, made a head over heart decision. And this could be involving a mother or the mother of their children or possibly a divine connection. Someone may want to come your way too. Someone made a choice. I have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. We have the ace of swords. The empress is Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Aries energy. So someone is getting the truth in the situation, either you or your person, Gemini. There could have been a lot of secrets. You could have been dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. I usually say cancer because cancer rules the moon. There could have been a lot of things hidden um, that you could not get answers to, or maybe there were things that needed to be revealed. I'm also hearing bipolar. That's not going to resonate for everyone. Someone could have been very wounded, very guarded, very injured in this situation emotionally. Could have been dealing with a Aries Leo Sagittarius. There it goes. <laughs> I knew it. I could feel it. Gemini, your card is definitely showing up in the reading. Some of you have a decision to make in a love situation. And for others of you, your divine counterpart is wounded and guarded between some type of action that was taken where they found out the truth about a lot of things that were hidden while they were involved with you, they needed to find strength in the situation. There could have been self-sabotage, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy yet again. Someone could have felt like they got one up over on the other person. One up and ship is what I'm being told.
Although somebody could have made a head over heart decision, someone is not taking action. Um, someone also, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting jail again. Someone could have given, this could have been the judge that told you you got four years in prison or four, four months of probation or four years of probation. I don't know why that's coming through, but it's coming through. Um, either you could have been dealing, uh, juggling an empress or an empress could have been juggling you. Someone could have been off balance. Someone could have been very indecisive about a decision they needed to make regarding you or your person. Um, we have the two of wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, two of pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So some of you could have been dealing with an earth sign or have it in your chart or you both do, but once somebody got the truth about a situation, they made, they were able to make a decision. Once they found out that there were a lot of secrets and things that were hidden, <coughs> excuse me, this person could have taken a leap forward. You could be dealing with an Aries specifically because someone was tired of feeling stuck and trapped in a situation. I have two eights here. So, and both of them are the eight of swords. So there could be some type of abundance coming your way. Somebody could be getting justice, uh, karmic justice or legal justice in a situation. Um, I'm feeling like some of you could have gotten into a physical altercation with a family member or your spouse and you guys ended up, somebody ended up going to jail and they are now going before the judge. The judge seems to be assessing um the physical damage that was taking place in this situation. There were a lot of y'all fighting too. A lot of contact, a lot of physical contact. Somebody could have been sleeping with someone at work. And somebody was very deceptive in a decision that was made. Um, there was definitely a third party in this situation. Could have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but someone was very uh, deceptive in a divine connection. Either you, Gemini, or your person could have been deceptive in this situation regarding a third party. There could be some delays on this situation, I'm feeling like even there could be some delays or blockages. For some of you regarding jail, um, you're waiting for money to bail someone out of jail. Could be waiting for your taxes to come back to bail somebody out of jail. This shit got out of hand. <clears throat> A lot of toxic energy was involved in this situation. There could have been some codependency issues. There could have been, um, I'm hearing drugs, drug addictions, drug sales, somebody trafficking, trafficking, drinking, smoking, multiple partners is what I'm getting. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. There could have been a pen, king of pentacles involved with this um, empress. Someone that was um, financially well-to-do. Um, they could have been juggling you and an empress. This person could have been very selfish. This person could have been controlling. This person could have been very arrogant and prideful is what I'm getting. Also... This person um, is kind of like the star in their social group. People come to this person for advice. This person could be married. They don't have to be. They could be in a long-term committed relationship, but um, they're also involved with other people. Um, this person could have jits. They don't have to. 
But this person, um, people come to them for advice. They seek counsel from this person. This person is respected in their community. This person could also own their own business plus work another job is what I'm being told. Um, somebody got the truth in a love situation and it is causing someone to heal or have hope in a situation. This could be an Aquarius that could be involved. For some of you, I'm also hearing um, this could be a conception of a baby. So some of you might want to go get a pregnancy test. This person could have been very manipulative. You could have been dealing with an Aries. This person was definitely um, betraying you or either you were betraying this person. Um, this person backstabbed and betrayed you. Um, that could be confirmation there. My notification went off. But somebody was definitely manipulative and a big liar, almost pathological is what I'm getting. Someone could be afraid to come forward to offer love. Either you or your person could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe with fire in their chart. Some of you need to check your north and south node is what I'm being told as far as Gemini's. Even for those who are not Gemini's, your north or south node may be in Gemini. And your south or north node could be in Sagittarius. And this is a big significator for people you may not realize this, but some people, um, it's a pre it's a precursor to open relationships, um, the swinging lifestyle, poly, uh, polyamory, polygamy, that type shit, sister wives. This person could have been seeking their own wish fulfillment is what I'm being told. Could have definitely been dealing with a water sign. Someone that was self-serving, um, could have been codependent, very addictive, had some addictions. Someone needed to take control of a situation. There could have been an Aries or a Taurus in there, um, involved, or someone could have Aries or Taurus in their chart and someone wants to take action and communicate a message. Is this Emperor? Well, I got... I'm definitely dealing with divine counterparts because the Empress is over there and there is, um, this Empress could be highly abundant too. I also have the Ten of Pentacles. So there could be a marriage at play. Someone could be in a long-term committed relationship or marriage, and this could be the blockages for the divine connection. And also for your connection as well, because I have the Ten of Pentacles twice. So I have two Tens on the board, plus I saw the Ten of Swords. So this is definitely an ending to a situation. Somebody could be, some of you could be seeing Ten Ten in a situation, and you could definitely be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be a separation going on. Someone could be getting illumination in a situation where a divine counterpart is, is concerned. They want to come in and place an offer. Some of you, your person um, may have stepped away. They may not necessarily be gone for good. They could just be taking some time out in this relationship. I'm hearing universal time out. And there was a lack of reciprocity. Someone does want to come in, though, with an offer of equal give and take. Could be dealing with an earth sign, someone that has prominent earth in their chart, a lot of it. Someone is hoping to gain victory um, or be uh, bonded out of jail in this situation here. And for others of you... Um, Somebody's ego is in the way of them coming forward to you to speak to you. Either you have an ego issue.
pride and ego or your person does. But somebody became single in this situation or somebody is single in this situation. Who is the person with pride and ego? Could be dealing with a water sign that uh, rejects your offer to in a situation. And this could be revocation. Somebody could be revoking someone's probation is what I'm hearing. Somebody violated their probation. I got two damn eight of swords on my board. So somebody is definitely feeling stuck and trapped. Like they can't make a decision in a situation. Either you or your person. Somebody could possibly not use their intuition in this situation. And for others of you, some of you could not be speaking to your person. In a divine counterpart relationship is what I'm being told. And that also goes for the marriage or long-term committed relationship, Gemini. And for a few of you about this jail situation, someone has not heard back yet from someone. That could be also um, what's going on with the high priestess as well. Someone wants to come in after they've made a decision. Could be this emperor that wants to uh, come in with the offer of love long-term commitment and relationship, but somebody is holding back. Somebody is still heavily focused on their finances. Their heart chakra could be blocked. This could be a person from your past. This could be a past life soulmate to you. Could be a water sign. There was a shake-up is the reason why someone um, took a leap of faith in a situation. There was a major change that took place. There could have been a breakup or a dissolution of a marriage or a long-term committed relationship. Someone deeply regrets the choices that they made in a situation. Someone is feeling like a total ass and an idiot for their conduct and behavior. Behavior. Either you or your person, Gemini. Um, I have Aries and Scorpio energy here. So somebody could have Aries in their chart or Scorpio or both. Why is the tower here? For the... And somebody needs to be very cautious about taking this leap of faith. Somebody wants a passionate new beginning. Someone wants a passionate new start. This is something that is destined and faded. And this is also um, karmic for some of you. Someone wants to offer passionate commitment in a situation. So this is going to be a major change. Major game shaker is what I'm being told um, in this situation. There could be a Taurus involved or someone has Taurus in their chart, but this is going to be a game changer for you. Someone is willing to come in and offer a long-term committed relationship. Some of you, it may just be passion, um, but have patience and temperance in this situation. Archangel Michael, call upon him to ask for assistance. Um, because this could be, you could be self-sabotaging, self-sabotaging yourself, um, Gemini, in this situation. There could be a um, Sagittarius involved as well. And this is why I keep saying, guys, check your north and south nodes. Someone could have been released from jail six days, six hours, six weeks ago. Somebody could be walking away from a legal situation, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that could have just recently got out of jail. Someone might have bonded this person out, was able to produce from the looks of things, maybe some um, type of, because I'm still picking up jail here. 
So somebody could have went to jail that was married or in a long-term committed relationship. I'm hearing that a fight could have broken out. Um, this could have gotten physical. But somebody definitely got released out of a toxic codependent situation where there were addictions. Um, something about probation. Somebody made this may be someone's first time going to jail. And you could be under the First Offenders Act, is what I'm being told. Um, you had good defense too. Good legal, um, a good lawyer is what I'm being told. There could be a new beginning, but you could be doing this in secret, either you or your person, or this person could be lying to you about wanting to give you a new start. You're going to need to use your discernment to determine whether or not this person is genuine Gemini. Um, so you can gain truth and clarity in this situation and know whether or not you need to cut it out. And this also could be after deception that you could be getting this new offer because you're walking away from something that was uh, less than what you deserved, either you or your person. But there's also, there's conflict here. There is major conflict with this shit. This is not to be trusted is what I'm feeling. Let me get some more on this. What else is going on here for Gemini? Yeah, this could be imbalanced and it's going to make you guarded. It's going to make you defensive. You're going to go within to gain clarity and guidance. There could definitely be an earth sign, Virgo, or either you could have Virgo in your chart, but you're going to get truth and clarity about a love situation with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Either this is <clears throat> discernment, truth, and clarity about a situation because this queen is asking this hermit to come forward and to speak. She could be asking this Virgo for help to heal, to renew an offer in love. She could be accepting this offer from love, but there's somebody waiting for their ships to come in. Either you or your person, Virgo. Someone in the past may not have seen things clearly. There could have been passionate action taken in the situation, or you could have been dealing with a Leo. Because I do have the strength card here. Something destined and fated to happen. Something karmic too. Ten of Wands. Burdens. Stress. Anxiety. What else do you see? There could be some new options coming in for you. You have multiple options that are coming through or someone else had multiple options and this is what caused the burden in your relationship, Gemini. Somebody had addictions, sexual addictions, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress. There could have been a child that was made in this situation. But for others of you, release this and you get this. You get to be happy. Once you go within and release this cycle. 
Yeah, you could be stressed over a person from your past um, or a past life soulmate. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone that does not show their emotions. They could be involved with a water, a, a fire sign or a fire sign that has water in their chart. And they could have made an offer to them. Somebody definitely thinks that they got one over on someone. And this was self-sabotaging. Someone could be using their intuition or someone could not be speaking. Um, this is more somebody could not be speaking because there's someone spying. They're watching you. They're lurking. I hear somebody could be driving past your home by your job. Someone thinks that you may be involved in a third party situation yourself um, and somebody wants to rush in for con reconciliation, but the communication could get harsh. Could be dealing with a water sign. Or you could have water in your chart, Gemini. For some of you, this third party situation produced a child. And there's communication coming in. What is the communication going to be about? Hmm. You're going to need to find strength again in this situation. Some of you need to find your strength and courage to become single. You may not have been single in a very long time. You're afraid to be single because you don't want to be left out in the cold by this water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there's a completion here. You have to close one door before a new door can open. So you may charge out or someone could be charging in. Yeah, you're closing a cycle on a broken heart. That's the third party situation. Somebody was definitely a player in the past. It caused a lot of stress, anxiety, and bur uh, burdens. There could have been a queen of pentacles in this situation. Someone could have been more focused on their finances. But someone was loyal, but someone got hurt. You could have been the queen of pentacles, loving, nurturing. There's a king of wands that's looking at you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, energy. But um, somebody is going through a rebirth, a death and a rebirth. And for others of you, this is not going to resonate for everybody. But someone is sad about the loss of a mate. And I'm being told that this mate watches over you. Could be this Leo. Didn't see that one coming. What else do you see? Yeah, you miss them. Someone passed. And you miss them. For some of you. There could be someone, like I said, that is spying on you. You could be at a distance from your person. They want to come in. Could be a cancer. Keep seeing water. What else do you see for Gemini? Happiness. With a soulmate. Love. With a soulmate. Someone wants to come in with communication, phone, 
phone message, text message, email, any social media platform. Someone wants something to improve or come together. And this also goes for the divine counterparts. Yeah, somebody could be announcing that they're single. They're just waiting for their ships to come in in a situation. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo or fire sign. Yeah, somebody's coming through fast. A cancer. <laughs> Somebody wants reconciliation and they're coming in fast. They're coming in hot, Gemini. Either you or them. Judgment was called on a situation. Somebody wants reconciliation. They know they sabotaged the situation, either you or them. Now they want to work on this situation to improve it. Yeah, they're ready to come in. They coming in hot. Somebody can't wait to get to, to your ass. They want this shit to come together. Could be a marriage or a long-term relationship. Somebody has made a change. Could be this hot boy here. Because <laughs> he keep popping up. <laughs> shit. But somebody is defensive and guarded. They felt like this was a burden. And this is what caused you to walk away. Either you or your person. Yeah. This person loves you. Or you love them. Or both. Someone could be using their intuition. Someone could be very loving, very nurturing. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone wants to take passionate action in a situation. Communication. Again. Yep. Somebody's just waiting for their ships to come in. Could be finances that they're waiting on. Yeah, cancer could be, um, cancer it is, could be waiting to rush in. They're wanting their ships to come in in a situation with you. Someone in the past walked away, either you or them. Could have been this cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There was betrayal in the past. A lot of betrayal. Major heartbreak in this situation. So let's close this out. This was a very calm reading. Despite some of the stuff that did show up in the reading. Sit these over to the side. Let's go ahead and pull the angels, romance angels. Some of you need to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And El Moira had said, as one of the Ascended Masters at the bottom of the deck, clear and shield your energy. Unrequited love. Possibly to no communication. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So they're asking you to work on your partnership. And past life relationship. So you have known each other before. Definitely. Purification was at the bottom of the deck for the earth magic. So what are the messages and advice for my Geminis? Completion upon the moon cycle. So whatever you're going through that was volatile. It would be complete upon the moon cycle. Some of you are going to go within and commune with your inner spirit guide. That could have been what the Virgo was about. Something definitely was hidden in this situation in the past. And you are just going to go with the flow. You're going to go just go with the flow. 
At the bottom of the Energy Oracle deck, we have the world, so there was completion. What are the messages and what is the energy for my Geminis? Your cards don't want to go smoothly. We have all tied up, Eight of Swords, so someone could feel trapped and stuck in a situation that could be creating conflict because 23 is 5. 5 represents conflict as well as change. We have 5 again, so this Angel of Strength, so you could be seeing uh, two fives, and we have 4, 6 Chakra, Archangel Metatron, so once your Crown Chakra is activated, this is representing stability too, 4s. And here we are with a four, 31, door to value, abundance. There you go, babies. Mm, love it. Love it. What is, well, let's look at this. Like I said, clear and shield your energy, Elmira, one of the Ascended Masters. So what are the messages and advice do you have for my Geminis, Ascended Masters? You can do it. Archangel Michael. He's definitely with you. And you are seeing things accurately. So whatever it is that you're experiencing, Geminis, you're seeing it just as exactly as it's supposed to be. And you have brilliant ideas, remember, at the bottom of the deck. So what are the final messages from the Archangels, please? What is the advice for my Geminis? Hello from heaven. So for some of you, whomever crossed over, you miss them. And they are letting you know that Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. And you are very loved and leadership. That's where those creative ideas are going to kick in. Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So there you are, Gemini. I hope this resonates for one Gemini. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends. You can find me on YouTube here as Ascended Twin 144K. You can find me on Facebook as a Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin. And you can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. I love you, soul fam. Y'all take care of yourselves. Stay blessed. Peace.